Ever wonder how many things can glow by themselves in the world? Let's check! Luciferin is the light-emitting compound found in organisms. It undergoes an enzyme-catalyzed oxidation, and the resultant excited state intermediate emits light upon decaying to its ground state. While firefly luciferin is only the generic name, the compound's general chemical structure is 4S26-hydroxy13-benzodiazole2O, 4,5-dihydrodiazole4-carboxylic acid and contains functional groups benzene, alcohol, carboxylic acid, imine, and sulfide. A chemical reaction within the firefly's light organ produced the light. Oxygen combines with ATP and a chemical called luciferin, while the enzyme called luciferase is present. The gray ribbons show represent the skeleton of the luciferase enzyme. The open form of the luciferase structure represents the ground state before the reaction has occurred, where the closed form represents the active form of the enzyme during conformation. The enzyme changes its conformation from open to closed form when the oxidation reaction occurs. The enzyme's ability to produce light is because of its change of chirality form from L-luciferin non-photon emitting to D-luciferin light emitting form. The excited state of the oxidized luciferin is tightly bound to a highly rigid hydrophobic microenvironment created by the nearby amino acid isoleucine and the oxygen molecule, minimizing energy loss before emitting yellow-green light. The wavelength associated with the yellow light caused by the molecule reaching its excited state is 560 nanometers. The color of the light produced during the process of bioilluminance can be different depending on the size and hydrophobicity of the side chain of the amino acid called isoleucine. The wavelength associated with the red light resulted in a low energy level of 613 nanometers. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here today to talk to you about Luciferin. When luciferase was first discovered, the only way to obtain chemical was from fireflies themselves. Today, synthetic luciferase is available, but some companies still harvest fireflies, which may be contributing to the decline. The most common way to synthesize the luciferin is from P. anisidine. The chemical structure of the luciferin, isolated from firefly tails, was proposed in 1961 and later confirmed by synthesis. In this procedure, p anisodine is the starting material that, through intermediates, is transformed into bioacid. In turn, cis lies to 6 methyl c benzodiazole 2 hydroxylic acid. From this, benzodiazole derivative 2 cyano 6 hydroxy benzodiazole is prepared in four steps. 2 cyano 6 hydroxy benzodiazole is a key intermediate for the synthesis of d luciferin and the most reliable procedure to obtain this compound is the demethylation of 2 cyano 6 methoxy derivative. Bioilluminance technology using luciferin has made a significant contribution to the development of pharmaceuticals. Dozens of new analytical methods based on bacteria, firefly, or cellular resin bioluminescent are published and patented every year. And do you ever wonder why some creatures are lucky enough to have luciferin in their bodies? That's because in early evolution, oxygen is toxic. Some organisms were able to convert it to a non-toxic substance, which had a tendency to produce photons of light. This may have had given the selective advantage to some organisms. However, luciferin has not been found in freshwater organisms. The light produced by firefly is the most efficient light in the world. Nearly 100% of the energy in the chemical reaction is emitted as light. What is the number one firefly pickup line? You share our flashy tonight. <laughs> Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. And let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter.